Kia ora everyone, just an extra from uh, to add to my ramble from this morning. Um, still December the 18th, 2022, uh, we're fast approaching 6.30pm here, um, pretty cold. Um, so, had some fun and games today. Um, as I mentioned this morning, we've, we've got everything running uh, from a solar perspective, it's all, it's all good, but... There is this bastard storm from hell coming in for Christmas, and um, well, quite frankly, a um, little concerned. We've we got everything covered um, from a basics level at least, um, so we have we have winterproofed as best as we can. Um, as I mentioned, Dawn's going to be up in Ohio. I'm going to be down here for a week with 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 dogs, but the the bulk of the storm that's going to be hitting us, uh, assuming it follows its current trajectory or predictions or chicken on trails or whatever, whether whether um, people actually use these days for, for divination, um, going to have about three days of, of really rough cold, um, extreme cold. And looking at the projections for you know moving moving ahead into January and February, this is this is a bit of a weird weird weather event for this this part of the United States and and, uh, and average temperatures so uh, we're spending the next couple of days or to, this evening Dawn's actually out and about running errands um, but uh, due back soon but we're, we're we're basically or battening down the hatches I guess is the best way of putting it so um, I'm, I'm not quite sure what that's going to entail in terms of um, rambles and videos and the like um, you know, I have work Monday to Thursday, uh, which is remote. So, again, that'll be at uh, at the foibles of the weather. But Monday to Thursday is not looking too bad. It's it's really Thursday night onwards. We're down to sing, single digits Fahrenheit, um, and that that will have all kinds of repercussions in terms of how our power works and and various other bits and pieces. So. Um, like any good prepper, <laughs> you know, three is better than two is better than one is better than none, as I have said in in the past. Um, so we're we're getting in a few extra heaters, um, and uh, we're going for for kerosene heaters this time round, uh, just to make sure we're not reliant on propane. Propane's great, um, great for instant heat, instant gratification, but not so good on the consumption, and it generates a lot of moisture and. Um, it it doesn't you know go the distance so uh, a good old tried and true kerosene is is where we're going um, so the plan at the moment for us at least for anyone who's watching um, and may or may not be concerned you you shouldn't be concerned uh, I will be okay Dawn will be up in Ohio looking after the kids and they're they're a little further north so they're Actually, ironically, they're actually um, predicted to have a slightly better time of it. But anyways, we shall see. Um, the uh, core three days are really Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So pretty much the weekend um, as we go into the week after that. And then things kind of you know move back up again to whatever a normal winter is here in Tennessee. Um, the weather people I follow, Ryan Yall, um, you may or may not be familiar with him but he's a he's a young young chap he does does kind of weather stuff on on, on the interwebs and he's he's pretty excellent actually um knows the stuff and much more much more interesting than the uh pull a chicken apart to see what, what's going to happen types that pretty much on mainstream television so um and any calls of how it is it's like you know this is what i know is going to happen this is i have no idea past the, this point but i think it'll be this but you know we'll find out closer t to the time because weather is weather you know um so yeah we're we're just going to be um working on winterizing a little more um most of our heat loss from the rv is largely through the windows so there's a choice between daylight or um and i know you, you get ambient heat from from the sun and, and all that or direct heat actually from from the sun and all that all that good stuff but the other side of the coin is if I've got heating in here and it's it's crappy cold temperatures, I, I want to keep the heat in here and use as little um, 
as little heating as uh, possible. So um, we're getting in, you know, making sure we've got plenty of propane because I will be burning propane. Um, I need to do that to keep the undercarriage of the RV heated so that pipes don't don't cause terrible problems. Um, my one major concern is probably the uh, battery for the RV. I can't do much about that. Um, we're just going to see how that actually plays out. Um, I know some people will put an extra heater in with it, but we, we don't have that. So kind of hoping that, that, that that'll work fine. Um, batteries tend to be, be pretty good for, for charge going out, but in the cold weather, not so good for charge coming in. And that's been a bit of a challenge today um, because it's been cold. And even though we've had the generator running, um, it hasn't been charging the battery reliably. And so that caused me some consternation after my ramble this morning um, and eventually I worked it out that um, between the cold the length of the cable not a very long cable but um, long enough and the fact that uh, generators have a fairly variable voltage coming out of them um, and now one could maybe do with a little bit of tuning we have to look into that later um, the uh, I, I pretty much had to fiddle around with, the, with a bunch of settings which um, means that from a from a charging perspective from a generator charging perspective I'm probably going to be doing dual dual charging and, and, and using the generator for that um, but because it's going to be freaking cold then I can't really guarantee that my generator is even necessarily going to work either because um, our battery is um, F, has, F asterisk CKED at the moment and, and we're having we're having some issues there so there's a there's a bunch of things kind of happening <laughs> right in the worst possible time, but I figure eh, the universe is going to throw it at us. If worst comes to worst, I just pack everything up, pack the dogs up, and we'd find a dog friendly motel and we'll just hunker down there. So you know, we'll just see how we'll just see how it works. Or I'll just jump in the car and drive to Ohio and weather it out there with everybody else. Uh, anyways, um, just letting you know that that's probably going to be the predominant theme for the week as we get closer to Thursday. Um, this is affecting a good chunk of the US for those um, friends and family in New Zealand. This is a fairly large storm. This is uh, the Siberian Express. It's it's a, it's a once in multiple decades type freezing event so um, or cold event. Um, and then coupled with that is there's a storm coming up from, from, from the south as well. So Never the twain shall meet, these two shall meet, and we shall see what happens with regards to that as well. So, you know, this is not a global warming event, this is a, this is very much a cooling event, because it's affecting Europe and everywhere, and everywhere else as well. So, anyways, um, just just a little bit of an extra extra ramble, um, and I'll, um, I'll throw some extras out there and, and just let, let you know how things are going. Because, quite frankly, if I'm stuck here with a whole bunch of heat and two dogs... And we're all stuck inside because there's snow and cold and ice and God knows what. Um, you, you, and if as long as the internet's working, or at least my video, then you, you're probably going to get some some random rambles. <laughs> Just saying. So anyway, take care. Be well. Ciao for now.